One of the best kept secrets to retaining clients, meaning that they're actually happy to continue working with you, is showing your work. Putting together a monthly report at minimum is what I recommend just to show all of the hard work that you're doing and showcase the true impact that social media is having on your client's business. Doing this is also a really great practice for your own brand as well, so you can see which posts are performing well and what to do more of and maybe what to do a little bit less of as well. So today I'm gonna to show you how to put together a social media report in just five minutes. Now, this used to be a totally manual process for me, digging through each social platform's analytics and scraping data manually, putting together a pretty report in Canva or PowerPoint, but I've actually found a tool that does this really seamlessly and easily for you. It's a tool I've talked about on this channel before, Metricool. They are fantastic for planning and scheduling content, but they also allow you to put together these really amazing seamless reports. You'll see just how cool they are. And if you wanna check out Metricool for yourself, you can click the link down in the description box. Thanks so much to Metricool for sponsoring today's video. Let's hop in. All right, so when we first log into Metricool, this is what we're gonna see. We're gonna see this page overview that showcases all of our different social profiles, some quick data. Now, I do recommend looking at this every week or so just for your personal knowledge. You might not send a full-fledged report on this stuff, but this will just give you a good idea of how things are performing day to day. But what we're really gonna focus on today is this report feature. So scroll down on that left-hand menu and click on reports. I like to do monthly reports for my clients, but if you had a particular campaign, maybe you had a launch sale or a holiday sale or something like that, you can also go ahead and do a weekly report or a weekend report or really however long you would like to make that. But I'm gonna click on September. I'm gonna choose the language, which is English. They do have a bunch of other languages though. And then you can choose an existing template. You see that I actually already have a couple built out, but we're gonna build one together so you can see how to do this. So if you click on new template here, first you'll get to decide what you wanna showcase. Do you wanna showcase an overview report of all of your different social channels, you know, give a quick insight into how Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, how all of them are performing? Or do you want to do a deep dive into a specific platform? And for this tutorial, let's showcase a deep dive into a particular platform. I think that's pretty interesting to look at. So I'm going to click on Instagram and here are all of the views or all of the report pages that you can choose from. There is so much data to look through here. So I'm going to leave them pretty much all on. I think the only one that I'm going to unselect is promoted posts because I didn't do any promoted post on Instagram. There are a few things that you can customize. So for example, the ranking of posts, we can sort this by likes, comments, saved impressions, reach, whatever insight you think is most important to your client is what I would recommend leaving it as. Before I forget, we're going to name this. I'm going to name it Instagram if I can spell Instagram insights. And then you can choose background and logo to customize any of this stuff that you would like. I'll just go ahead and add my logo. I'll add the OBLL logo just to make it customized. And then we can customize all of these colors as well. I won't bore you with that, but you could go ahead and add your custom brand colors or something else that you can do if you really want to, you know, show out for your client is add their colors into their report template. Now, again, this isn't going to be something that you have to do every single time because you can save it as a template. So it's just kind of one and done. And this will really help them feel like you care about their brand, like you're invested in their brand. So you can do all that on your own time. We're going to go ahead and click on save and this will be saved as a template. And then from here, we can either click on generate PDF or generate PowerPoint, however you choose to view this report. And something else that's really, really cool is you can make this an automatic monthly report if you choose to, meaning that if I toggle this on, I'll get an email every month with this exact report just customized for the new month. And I'm not even going to have to go in and do this little bit of work that I just did. It's automatically going to come to me. I can then go ahead and forward that to my client, or I can just use that as a reminder to schedule a meeting with them and talk them through the report. So let's go ahead and generate the PDF. It'll just take a couple of minutes, not even, probably 30 to 60 seconds, I would say. And boom, it's ready to go. So we'll click on download. And here is what the report looks like. 
I decided to adjust the date to August 1st through 31st. This was a little bit more of an active month for me, so a little bit more exciting to look at. So here's the cover page. All of this stuff can be customized, your title, um, again, the colors and look and feel of it, but we'll scroll down. So first things first, we've got an overview page of our community growth. So this is for the Online Business Launch Lab account. And if I didn't mention already, you can easily toggle between all of your different brands in the right-hand corner of your metro cool account. So I have a few different profiles built up, one for online business launch lab, one for my personal social channels. And you can also do the same thing with your different clients accounts or your own agency's accounts. This is super easy to do in just one click. You don't need to manually log in or out of anything. So I find that really helpful. Anyway, back to the report. This is for Online Business Launch Labs Instagram. We see our follower growth in terms of percentage as well as actual number of followers that we gained that month and how many posts we added that month as well. And then we also see this interesting graph here that shows you know, how many posts and then when our followers actually came. So it's interesting, you see that as soon as we posted these multiple posts on August 5th, our follower count also started to increase. Okay, so scrolling down here, we have a demographics report based on gender and age, which I always think is a very interesting thing to show your clients who the majority of your followers are. And this can definitely change month over month and year over year. So as we can see here, most of our followers are 25 to 34 year old women, although we also have some males and some folks who maybe identify as non-binary or just didn't include their gender in their profile as indicated over here. We also have a demographics report based on countries and cities. Again, I find this to be a very helpful thing to showcase to your clients so that they know the different trends that are going on. They know, you know, what language to post in, times of day to post in, maybe if they wanted to do any in-person meetups or sales or anything like that, you could base that off of some of your top 10 cities. Then we have a profile report that shows how many profile views we got this month, as well as how many clicks we received from our followers or from anybody. So you can see that our profile views were up about 15%. Our web clicks were up 129%. And I think the reason for that is August was actually a launch month for us. So I was launching a new course. So I was probably indicating in our stories and in our posts, hey, click the link in our bio to sign up and things like that. Then we have a report on reach, how many accounts we reached, how many impressions we received, profile views and posts once again. Similarly, we have a post report that showcases our engagement, which unfortunately was down this month and interactions. So we see likes, comments, saved, and interactions as a whole. And again, we have these indicators here that tell us if we are up or down for the month. Okay, so here is my favorite part of this Metricool report. It's the ranking of posts. So this is sorted by total number of likes, but you can actually choose which metric you wanna sort this report by in the previous stage of building that report. Anyway, we have a quick screenshot of what the post actually was, and then we can see all of the important data, impressions, reach, likes, comments, saved, and total engagements. And the thing that I really love about this is we can just click on this go link and it will bring us to the exact post. So you don't need to think to yourself, hey, what was that post about? What was the caption? You can actually show your clients on the call with them and just get a quick refresher on what the post actually was about. And then you can start to look for trends. You know, you can reread the caption, you can look at the hashtags, you can look at the style, the colors, the fonts that were used and see if you can tie together any trends that will inform your strategy moving forward. We've got a similar report for reels, our total engagement and how many reels were posted. And then we have that interactions report for reels, likes, comments, saved and interactions. Wow, we got a lot of likes compared to the last months and same for interactions and same for saves. Wow, that's pretty exciting. And then we have that similar report for the ranking of reels. Then we have a ranking of hashtags. So this will show you the hashtags that helped you generate the most likes. So we can see, hey, these are hashtags that we should probably continue to use. Maybe some of these smaller ones that are down to, you know, the third place ranking, maybe those are not quite as effective. And over time, month over month, we'll start to see 
trends, we'll start to see some of the same hashtags pop up for us and know that those are really solid, helpful hashtags for us to continue using. Lastly, we've got a report on stories, similar thing here in overview, impressions, average reach, and the total number of stories, as well as the ranking of stories. Now, of course, we can't click a go and view these stories since stories do disappear after 24 hours, but you can get a little transcript of what was said, if there was any text written on the stories, and we can get some data, impressions, reach, how many people tapped back, meaning that they wanted to watch it again, how many people tapped forward, and then people, of course, who exited. This will be really helpful for you over time to start to analyze which types of stories people are sticking around for, what people really wanna see more of. So that is exactly what I would put in a client report. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you'd be interested in trying. And again, I'll leave a link down below for Metricool. They are a fantastic social media tool. They enable you to schedule, plan, your content and of course pull these amazing reports. So really hope you enjoy it. I hope this video was helpful and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.